What's the deal, folks? It's your boy with another video back to back on y'all motherfucking asses. And today we're going to talk about writer's block. What is writer's block? It's when you're working on something or you're working on a project and then all of a sudden you get stuck. Everything that comes out of your mind or your mouth, it feels like a bad idea or it feels like it sucks shit or it's the worst shit in the world. And so we come up with this excuse of writer's block in order to fuck off or get away from it because the challenge is too hard. And I remember when I first started rapping and I'd be working on something and I get stuck and I tell myself that I have writer's block and um, I just fuck off for three or four days. I'd be playing a video game. I'd be going to Barnes and Nobles, whatever, just telling myself, yeah, eventually I'll come out this rut. And then all of a sudden I just get some inspiration and then I'm back in the studio. Well, like I said, writer's block is an excuse. Because there are ways to beat this. And the thing is, is you ever been working on something, whether it could be music or drawing or playing a game or something, and it feels like it's, it's, it, it feels good and you're flowing and, and, and you look up and two hours have passed and you're like, where the hell did the time go? That's because you're in a state of flow. When you've been writing raps and, and some raps come out easier than others and it feels like you, you wrote it like it was nothing, that's because you were in a state of flow. The challenge wasn't so hard where it created anxiety, but it wasn't so easy to where it created boredom. So you were just lost in your work and you were caught up in flow. And... We have to find ways to keep that flow going. We have to find ways to keep that motivation going. And I've come up with a couple of ways where you can get through being stuck or having writer's block. And number one is put the shit down, man. Go outside. Go take a walk. Go watch an inspiring movie. Now, I know I said... um that, that, you know, I used to fuck off and, and go go here and go there because acting like I had writer's block. But that's not what I mean. What I mean is you're kind of lacking in the inspiration department. So you need to go find something or go do something that might spark those brain cells. Go take a walk. Go ride a bike. Go watch a Scorsese movie or, or draw a picture or, or, or listen to a fucking great classic hip-hop album and see if you can bring inspiration from that and then try to bring that to the studio, man. Sometimes you have to take a break. You have to step away from it, get it completely out of your mind, go do something else, and then come back to it. But don't take three or four days off, you know, just come right back to it. Another thing is sometimes when I get stuck and I don't have anywhere to go, I'll take from other places. I'll take from other rappers or other classic songs. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to bite somebody's whole fucking shit, but I might take a line or I might take a popular line from 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 a, a, a known song that people know that people instantly recognize that yeah he got that from that song but using that I'll gain inspiration from that from an idea that came from somewhere else and I'll create my own shit. Another thing is if you're stuck and you don't know where to go with it, still a rapper's flow, man. There's nothing wrong with taking a flow and using it and making your own, man. If if I'm I'm writing a a, a verse and I'm stuck in the middle of it. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and I can't find an inspiration, you know, I'll, I'll think of an, an, a flow that I heard, a tight flow that might go with the beat. It might be another rapper's flow, but I'm going to take it and make it my own. And that's going to help me keep the song going for it. Another one is, hey, man, sometimes you got to spark it up, man. Get high. I remember when... um. When I was younger, when I was a kid, and uh, and me and my guys, we were we were recording songs off the sound recorder, man. And and for some strange reason, when I would smoke, I'd get all the inspiration. I'd I'd have all these thoughts in my head that I could go off of. And you know, I'm not condoning to to use weed, but I'm just saying, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. The thing about weed is it opens up my mind. It 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 it, it takes away that restraint. That 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 that's that. that that inner critic of me, and it just lets me flow, lets me go without even thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? So, to be honest, weed is a, is, is a great help to me, but like I said, I'm not condoning any of y'all to go do drugs or anything like that. Another thing is, we are our own biggest critics. So, when we write stuff, and we're putting stuff down, we might look at it and be like, oh, this is a shit line, and, 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 and then get stuck on that first line. But the thing is, is you can't do that because that's going to cripple you, man. You have to get that shit out. 
and then come back and be the critic. The best writers, whether it be movie writers, music writers, anything, they get their first draft out. They get their initial thoughts out and then they come back and they edit everything. And what I mean by that is you're going through your lines and of course you might have some cheesy lines. Let's take that line out and make it better. As long as we got something down, we have something we can work with. But if we're just stuck on this line and we don't, we don't, you know, we're going to be in a, a state of being stuck. So get it out on paper and then come back and edit it. Come back and make it dope. Because if you had an original idea and you got it down, it's nothing wrong to develop that and make it better. And um, another thing is this is not really a key for the video, but this is just a side note. Um, I remember uh, a Jay-Z interview where he's talking about his best songs come out in 10 minutes. Or or, or, or uh, uh, one of my guys was telling me about Young Thug saying... Uh, his uh, uh if he's not feeling it in eight minutes then then he's he's um on to the next or it's not gonna work and the thing about that is, is no these guys aren't making songs in eight and ten minutes they are getting inspired and within a short time they are so inspired that it's just coming to them it's coming to them they're not being their own biggest critics they're not uh being stuck they're just getting out what's on their mind and it comes out easy because they're not thinking too hard about it don't think too hard about it save that for the rewriting and editing process guys and the final thing man just say fuck it just say fuck it i know um I've, I've, I've come across beats that I fucking love, that are fucking beautiful, great, immaculate, will make great songs, but I just can't get shit down to it. I can't, no matter what, I can't think of anything. So what do I do? I close the fucking beat, and I get rid of it, and I find another beat. You cannot waste time being stuck on one thing that's not working. You're being met with resistance, and that's going to hamper your creative process you need to have something that's going to bring it out of you that's going to motivate you to where you can go if you're stuck on a song for for one or two days and i don't mean that you've written a song and you're working on it and making better but if you're stuck on the first four bars or the first two bars or the first verse after a couple days man that shit ain't worth it man go find something else you need to put that creative energy into something that's going to be more abundant for you and that's pretty much it man Fuck writer's block. There is no such thing as writer's block because there are ways to get over being stuck. You just have to think outside the box. Once again, it's been your boy. Thank y'all for all of the comments, the subscriptions, uh, the likes, the requests. Y'all need to get y'all consultations in, man, because these videos, while they are good and they are teaching you stuff, you have certain things that are personal to you that you have to work on that I need to tailor things to your specific vision and what you're doing. So I say the best way to do that is just call me up for a consultation. I'm not expensive, man, and uh, I'm not one of those guys that if we go over five, ten minutes, you know, I'm going to charge you. Nah, because I have to get to know you first before anything. I have to know what you want to do and what you're trying to accomplish, and then we go from there. Without any further ado, I'd like to say 